Your mental health can affect your physical body in a myriad of ways, and that's because there's a really strong connection between your mind and your body. Your mind is mediated by your brain, which is connected to your body. So what goes on in your mind affects your body. What goes on in your body affects your mind. So if you go for a run, you know, you, you get those endorphins, you get the runner's side, you end up feeling good. What you're doing with your body is actually impacting your mind. Same is true from the opposite direction. So if you're depressed, you're actually at an increased risk for developing chronic illnesses like diabetes and heart disease. If you're anxious, you're actually gonna feel that tension in your body. Really any emotion that you experience actually has a physical signature to it. So if you're, if you're angry, for example, you're gonna feel your body getting hotter. Your, your, your heart rate is actually gonna speed up. So it's good to remember that what we do with our minds actually impacts our physical bodies. So mental health can affect your daily life in a variety of ways. It's different for each person, but it can affect your relationships. It can affect your work. It can uh, affect your, your academics. It can affect your ability to engage in hobbies. It can affect your ability to rest. I would say that uh, uh, what goes on in a lot of these things is different for each person, but, but a, a core thing that happens is that mental health struggles often come in between us and the things that actually enrich our lives and give our lives vitality and meaning. And that's why it's so difficult. When you start struggling, you start to distance yourself a little bit more, and that can make the struggle with mental health even